Welcome back to Watch Fox News at 10. Time for a check of your Skywatch weather forecasts. The upper 70s is where we are at Columbia Metropolitan Airport. A mostly cloudy sky, a few sprinkles going on uh, across uh, Richland County and Lexington County as well. We'll give you a check of Skywatch Doppler radar right now. But first, let's look over here towards the eastern half of the Midlands. Kershaw County getting on, on some uh, rain showers uh, just west of Camden as well. That'll be moving towards you. A few rain showers going on. These will be uh, diminishing for the most part over the next uh, couple of hours. But towards Columbia, we did have a few sprinkles going on right around downtown and north of downtown, north of I-20, right, right along I-77 as well, and just uh, east of I-77. Again, not really heavy rain showers, but nonetheless, they are there, and they'll be uh, diminishing as we head throughout uh, the evening. Not really a lot to talk about elsewhere, except a few showers up towards the upstate. Uh, Lawrence County uh, could be moving into the uh, western half of Newberry County if they don't dissipate before then. But for the most part, we're going to be looking good uh, for tonight. Here's what it looked like with the satellite and radar. You see generally moving off to the northeast ever so slowly uh, at tonight's 10 p.m. hour. That'll be uh, again going down with time overnight tonight. So we want to take you out to the Central Atlantic Ocean and show you the remnants of uh, what was Dorian a couple days ago. And you can see it not very impressive at all. Earlier today had a flare up of convection. Uh, they sent a hurricane hunter out there aircraft and they investigated could not find a low level circulation to classify it as a tropical cyclone. They did find a 40 mile per hour wind gust, but that's about it. It does need to have that westerly wind and a counterclockwise flow to become a tropical storm. We'll see what happens over the next uh, couple of days. But a uh, time lapse from Orangeburg today on our Ferry Chevrolet HD Weatherbug Network uh, camera here. Very nice shot with a towering cumulus clouds off on the left side of your screen. But right now, again, 79 degrees in Columbia, the low 70s in Camden, uh, the upper 70s in Newberry, the upper 70s in Orangeburg as well. So a cold front's been pretty stubborn. It's not very mo moving uh, that much here, and that's what's popping off uh, these old showers uh, tonight. You see some more rain uh, rainfall back to our northwest. We'll have more rain chances on our seven day planner thanks to another cold front coming our way. But tomorrow, wait, right, if you're going to the airports, it's going to look nice in the northeast, the mid 80s in Newark, the low 80s in DC, the upper 80s to right around 90 degrees across the, the Midlands and parts of uh, Atlanta, uh, 96 degrees in Dallas and the mid 90s in Houston. Here's Future Watch, what it thinks the radar will look like over the next uh, day or so. Uh, here we go, about a 30% chance of a shower or storm uh, for Monday. I believe this is popping up on the cold front. It could be a little bit less than this. This is being a little excessive, I believe, but as we head through Tuesday as well, we're going to give it about a 20 to 30 percent chance of that uh, convection starting to pop up in the afternoon hours. But 72 degrees for tonight, partly cloudy conditions tomorrow, 86 degrees by noontime. We'll go to right around uh, the low 90s in spots across the area, but the uh, the low 80s by the time the nightfall uh, reaches us here uh, for your Monday. Here's our seven day planner, 92 degrees for your Monday. We go back down to 91 if that's back down at all on Tuesday, the upper 80s for Wednesday and Thursday, a mostly cloudy day on Thursday. The cold front makes its way to us by then and then we uh, try to go those, get those rain chances back down for you by next weekend, but still an isolated shower or storm threat for Saturday and Sunday, Alexis. So uh, a lot of rainfall, unfortunately. Again, same story, different day. And Dorian right. just seems like a stage five clinger. It's like she the tries ghost to. Ghost of Dorian. Yeah, it's like she disorganized and then it's like, wait, I'm feeling better. It was amazing this morning. The convection just popped back up and now it's going back down. So everybody's like, what? What's going on? Like, we don't know what's going on with Dorian. Also, let me ask you this. We're on um, the D names. Are mm -hmm. we on track as far as the number of storms that we would typically see this time of year? We get 10 to 12 in the Atlantic Basin on average every year. And so this is right around, we're getting into the active. Uh, part of the hurricane season. The climatological peak is September 10th. Okay. And so that's when we typically see a lot of stuff going on. So, so are the we next still name the, is Aaron. Are we still in the building phase? Like we're building yeah, toward we're, more and more we're storm activity? We're still going where we should be. Okay, well, and with the rivers swollen the way they are and storms coming mm -hmm. for the season. We don't need them. Okay. We don't need them at all. All that rainfall in a short period of time, lots of flooding. Well, I'm sure you're going to keep us uh, informed will. when things get dangerous. We will. Thank you, Garrett. Mm -hmm. All right.